Temperatures fall down to about 60 this evening. We'll have mostly cloudy skies and a chance of a sprinkle, but most of the area stays dry this evening, at least until about mid morning tomorrow. As showers and a few thunderstorms roll through the area, that's going to keep us around 70 degrees by afternoon. So you might want to have a light jacket and the umbrella handy just in case. Here's what that system is now. It's across parts of the mid south, that low pressure system slowly rotating back in our direction. That is going to bring us that chance for some rain by tomorrow morning. Here's the breakdown starting out at 7 o'clock. Most of us are right around 60 degrees, especially areas south of I-70. That's where we'll have the best shot of seeing a few showers and storms by around 9 or 10 o'clock. As we progress throughout the afternoon, showers and storms continue to be scattered across the region. No severe weather is expected, but where it's raining is going to be cool. We'll be in the 60s, so make sure you have a light layer on hand just in case. Into Thursday, expect cloud cover in the morning. Most of the rain during the day stays off to our east as that low pressure starts to exit the area. We'll likely still have mostly cloudy skies, but by the end of the day, working in some of that sunshine ending up clear by the time we get to Friday morning. Just a couple of clouds during the day. It's looking great for high school football. No umbrella needed this Friday evening. 74 in Jefferson City on kickoff. The Jefferson City is at Helias this week. I'm expecting clear skies as we head farther north. Our featured game of the week battle is at Rockbridge. We'll see a temperature around 74 at 7 o'clock under clear skies. A little cooler farther to the east Kingdom City here. North Callaway is hosting Wright City. We'll see a temperature around 70 under clear skies. And then we head back into Saline County. Slater is hosting Tipton. It'll be around 72 under mostly clear skies. Eldon hosting California around 73 at 7 o'clock. And farther north, Moberly. Going to be a beautiful evening there as they're hosting Hannibal. We'll have a few clouds, temperature around 72 on Friday evening. So we're going to continue tracking some mild weather going into Saturday morning for the homecoming parade at Mizzou. Temperature at 8 o'clock around 67, but we're almost to 80 degrees by noon. And it's going to get even hotter as the game time approaches. We're going to see highs getting into the upper 80s. It's going to be breezy throughout the game. Definitely don't need the layers for this one, but I'm not expecting rainfall. So that's good if you're going to be out and about in Columbia. We're expecting a dry weekend, but it's going to be hot on Saturday into Sunday. Tracking a few more clouds. Temperature should be around 82 during the day, and then we'll be watching for our next cold front. That'll bring us a chance of showers and a few thunderstorms Sunday night into Monday. Cools us back into the 70s to start off next week.